Well, hello and happy Monday to you. Pastor Alexandra Robinson here, and I'm so thankful that you are taking a moment in the midst of your day to be able to spend time with God and to rest in the peace of Christ. Um, today, we will be taking a moment with a compassionate friend. And so I just want to welcome uh, Jacqueline and Sherry, uh, who are watching right now as we are live. And thank you for being here today. Peace to you. And I hope that you have found a place where perhaps you can just have a moment of calm, maybe um, light a candle or just be in a space um, that lets you just breathe a little bit easier. And so today, as we begin, I'd like to just take a moment to have a few breaths. We're gonna take three deep breaths together as we have been doing from the very beginning, one for the presence of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Because we know as we are connected with that Trinitarian understanding of relationship that we are offered life and life abundant. And it is that relationship which allows us to breathe in that sense of peace, knowing that we are not alone in this time. God is with us and actively engaged in our lives. So as we take three deep breaths, we breathe one in. For the presence of God, our Creator, our Father, and one in for the presence of Jesus Christ, our Redeemer. And a third breath in for the presence of the Holy Spirit, our Sustainer. This allows us to focus and concentrate on the presence of God that is with us. As we breathe in the breath of God, which gives us life, we are able to breathe out peace into the world. And so today we begin our time together with this scripture. My peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. I do not give as the world gives, so do not be troubled and do not be afraid. And so as we breathe in that presence of God, it allows us to breathe out a peace, a peace that is beyond our understanding into a world that can receive that peace even beyond our understanding. Our practice today is to find a sense of peace within that we might share that peace outside. And it is a practice called compassionate friend. We've been speaking a lot over the past few weeks about the power of compassion, self-compassion, which allows us to have deeper compassion for one another in a time where many of us are feeling compassion fatigue, I want to encourage you in this practice to know that the image that we will be calling to mind um, is an image that I hope you will hold uh, throughout times where maybe you are feeling compassion fatigue to be able to connect again with the compassion that God has for you allowing you to have deeper compassion for others. So the first step in compassionate friend is to imagine yourself in a place that is safe and comfortable. So I'd just like to invite you to close your eyes and breathe in those three deep breaths for the presence of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit to center yourself. And now imagine 
place yourself in as comfortable a position as possible with your breath engaged and connected. Imagine yourself in a room, a cozy, comfortable, safe place. Perhaps it's a beautiful beach or maybe a fireplace. Maybe there's a forest glade you can imagine. It can even be an imaginary place floating on the clouds. Anywhere you feel a peace that is beyond understanding. Let yourself enjoy being in that space. Take a moment to breathe in the smells that you smell there to imagine the sights that you would see there, the things that you would feel there, and let yourself be engaged in that place in this moment. And now soon, as you are in that space, you will receive a visitor, a warm, and compassionate presence. Consider this a compassionate friend, a person who embodies the qualities of wisdom and strength and unconditional love. That being might be Jesus or God. It might be a person that you imagine with all of the qualities that you admire combined by people that you know. It might be a teacher, a grandparent, a person from your past, or it may not even have a particular form. Perhaps that being is more like light or a warm presence. Whatever that is, your compassionate friend cares deeply about you. That compassionate friend wants you to be happy and free from unnecessary struggle. So let that being and presence come to mind. Now, I'd like you to invite that being or that friend into your safe space. Place yourself in just a position where you can relate to your compassionate friend, whatever feels right to you. Imagine that friend in as much detail as possible, sitting with you in that safe beautiful space. Let yourself feel what it is like to be in that being's presence. There's nothing that you need to do. Just experience the peace, the comfort, the safety of that moment with your compassionate Your compassionate friend is wise, is all-knowing. Your compassionate friend knows exactly what you need in your life journey and where you are. Your friend might tell you something, something that is just what you need to hear right now. Take a moment and listen carefully to what your compassionate friend might be saying. What do they have to share with you of wisdom? What words of comfort do they offer? What assurances of grace are they giving you? 
what remembrances of compassion are they offering to you? As they know you so well, your compassionate friend knows your best self, believes in you, trusts you, sees the good in you. And in that knowing of you, rest. Let yourself be known by that compassionate friend as beautiful, as good, as holy, as creative, as compassionate. Let this blessing of being in your friend's presence sink in, knowing that though you have done nothing to deserve this friend, it is a gift to you. It is a gift to you that cannot be taken away. It is a gift of knowing that you are loved. Perhaps you want to say something to your compassionate friend, one who listens deeply who will not judge, who completely understands you, that you can say anything to and know that you will still be accepted and loved. Take a moment to share with your compassionate friend whatever you would like. And now your friend, in listening to you, wants to leave you with a gift. This might be an object that, as you hold out your hands, may appear. Something that has special meaning to you. Something that expresses their love for you. Their unconditional acceptance their grace, their trust. Hold out your hands and let yourself receive what your friend has to offer. This symbol of love and care and compassion meant just for you. What is it? that this symbol looks like. Let yourself feel it in your hands. Imagine the peace and acceptance that you feel as you hold this symbol as a reminder of who you are known to be by one who loves you ultimately. Take that object and hold it to your heart. Let that object or that symbol reside as a part of you to remember who you are and how deeply you are loved. Now take a few moments to enjoy your friend's presence. And allow yourself in that time, in that moment, in that being to realize that your friend is actually a part of you. All of the compassionate feelings, all of the images, the wisdom, the guidance, the love. It resides in your own wisdom. It resides in your own being. 
It resides in your own image as a holy and beloved child of God. So let yourself rest in this being of who you are today. And now as you open your eyes, let us breathe in three more times the presence of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And hear these words, my peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. I do not give as the world gives, so do not be anxious or afraid. Thank you for joining me today, friends, and peace be with you for the rest of your day. Amen.